our mission control Houston. Uh, we have a T minus two podcasts and counting. T minus two podcasts and counting. Yay, we got two podcasts left in this unit, and you're going to love it. Here we go. Now we did parallel. Now we do perpendicular, everybody's favorite. Again, we got to convert this into y equals mx plus b in order to find that slope because general form does not tell you the slope. So here we go. 4x plus y minus 12 equals to 0. Bring the 4x over. You know you're going to subtract that. And let's do this all in one step. Let's bring the 12 over at the same time. We know we're going to do that in one step. Check this out. Cancels, cancels. Y equals to minus 4X plus 12. But here's the cool thing. This is our slope, which we know in order to do the perpendicular slope, we have to take the negative reciprocal. Our slope is now a quarter. Yay. All right, flip it, change the sign. Now, we're going through a point... 8 minus 6. Oh, I don't know how many times I wrote this down, but I like it. Y minus Y1 equals M X minus X1. So let's do this. Here we go. Okay, I know. That kind of freaked you out. Sorry about that. Y minus a minus 6 slope, which we know is a quarter. X minus X1, which is 8. And yep, we're going to have to distribute that quarter over everything. Here we go. Y minus a minus 6 becomes Y plus 6 equals to a quarter X. And wait a second. We got a quarter times a negative 8. Look how pretty this is. Gives you a negative 8 over 4, which works out to be negative 2. So this is minus 2. Now, let's get rid of that quarter. We could have done it in the step before and just multiply this by 4 and multiply this by 4. Or we can do that right now. We can multiply this guy by 4, multiply this guy by 4, and get rid of that quarter. Let's do it. Mailman, distribute. There it is. 4y plus 4 times 6 is going to be 24, if I remember correctly. 4 times a quarter is just 1. 4 times negative 2 is minus 8. Okay, almost done. Check this out. This is beautiful. All right. Bring everything from this side over to this side. Why? Because the x is already positive on this side, so I don't have to flip the sign again. Remember, your x's have to be whole numbers and positive. So this will give you 0 equals to x. Bringing the 4 over, subtract 4y. Bringing the 24 over, subtract Subtract the 24, and look, I've got an 8 there. Clean it up. Combine some like terms. There it is. 0 equals to x minus 4y minus 32. And there is your formula. Woo!